I think this month we, more than any other month, we were able to be the church. It's Jesus, and we are his bride, the church. Together, we are one. In holy matrimony, under God, through the Holy Spirit. So we're members um, of the body, so some of us are hands, some of us are feet, some of us are eyes, some of us are ears. Um, so we fulfill different roles in the church. Um, you can see it, and some people are preachers, some people are evangelists, some people support missionaries. I think when we come together, uh, Jesus says, where there's two or more gathered, His Spirit is there, and that is the church. So anytime you come together, um, and you're worshiping God, or you're communing God, or you want to know more about the Lord, you are being the church when you're with another uh, person who's also the body of Christ. Church operates as a group of disciples that all pursue Jesus together and fulfill the Great Commission as they do that by going and making other disciples and not only spreading the teachings of Jesus, but living out lives that are examples of what Jesus did when he was here on earth and showing love and compassion and showing mercy over judgment. So the cool part, like I say, I'm one person and I don't think one person can be the church. I just see the whole world out of these two eyes and this mind and sometimes I don't really know everything. In fact, I know I don't know everything. But I can tell you this, Josh Garcia is like crazy supportive. Connor is a prayer warrior. Nano likes kicking butt and sharing the name of Jesus and he is an evangelist. Andy is one of the greatest disciples I've seen. He's always ready to share the word, to walk alongside people and just teach them what God is teaching him. That's awesome. John is the heart of the group. He bears himself for all of us and um, shows himself in vulnerability and being honest and where he's at and where we're at as well. Ethan is the edifier. He just edifies us and just pushes us more towards Christ every day. Walker is a tremendous worship leader, but he's far more than that. He's a stallion, leading the way into battle. This guy got hit with every sickness out there and never missed a beat, and went into ministry with a smile on his face and loved people, and it was awesome. Josh was always there to point us back to Christ. He was always there to lead conversations to a biblical place, uh, you know, always there to bring us back to truth and the word. Nathan is the conscious of this church. Um, he always keeps us pure. He always makes sure our conversations are edifying. And last but not least, Caleb is our push for authenticity in the entire group. He pushes us to go further and deeper, and just to really get down and dirty what we're thinking. But a sign you guys don't see with, on the camera is that he is probably one of the biggest servant leaders on the team. You can always see Caleb doing the small little things that nobody really thinks to do, but we're always like, oh, that's so great that he did that. So thanks, Caleb. This is a quote I read this month by Frank Viola. I think sums this up perfectly. Within the triune God, we discover mutual love, mutual fellowship, mutual dependence, mutual honor, mutual submission, mutual dwelling, and authentic community. In the Godhead, there exists an eternal, complementary, and reciprocal interchange of divine life, divine love, and divine fellowship. The church is an organic extension of the triune God. And I think we saw that this month. Mutual love, mutual fellowship, mutual dependence, mutual honor, mutual submission, mutual dwelling, and authentic community. And that's awesome. Go God!